thing. This is Tara. She's a brown bear. This is a brown. You you can hold on to her there. Yep. Bear. Hi there. How adorable, right? Oh, the Everyone's just melting at the. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Are you okay, pal? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the matter? What's the matter? Not you don't like this show, do you? <laughs> yeah, you're not her mommy. She's, yeah. Uh, oh, she wants to be with her mommy right now. Yeah, what's can, the most comfortable way to hold? You, the, what you're doing right now, and actually, let me. I'm, I'm trying to be. I want to. I want we'll the bear her, to be as comfortable as possible. She actually likes to kind of swing like this. It's kind of soothing, just like a human baby. How? Right? Uh, how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> when you, you know. When Try that again on this bear in what, three years. That's right. Well, actually, much sooner than that. She's only about 11 weeks old, so she can. She's going to get to be about three, four hundred pounds. So much, much bigger animal. She's going to get okay pretty to massive. Is it okay to pet like this? Yeah, it's okay to pet like that. Oh, she's got a oh, little. Oh no, bit... apparently not. I don't want to upset the bear in any way. No, you're okay. Yeah. So. You know, this is a species that in North America is actually, you know, on the decline. National Wildlife Federation, of course, is all about protecting our wild species, including grizzly bears, which is a kind of brown bear just like her. And, um, you know, they're, they're awesome. They're pretty amazing. I mean, look at the size of those paws. Yeah, how many, uh, can I, how many uh, on that paw alone, look at how many claws, how yeah. many claws are on a paw? There, there's five, five just like us, so... Okay. Yeah, and you know, they use those claws. You know, people think that these guys are you know, big predators and they're constantly out there hunting deer and moose and things like that. But the reality is, is that these animals actually eat a lot of insects, they eat fish, they eat fruit. A lot, so, of, a lot of yogurt, a lot of granola. Yeah, well, <laughs> only if they eat a hiker that has just eaten it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but no, that doesn't really happen. I mean, every once in a while you do um, hear bear attacks and it's important when you're hiking in bear territory to you know, make, the, make some noise so the bears know you're there. And um, you, know, you can carry uh, you know, uh, pepper spray and things like that. But generally speaking, these are animals that if we respect them and let them be wild, we're never really gonna have a problem with them. Okay, yeah. well, I, I don't wanna keep him here. Any, he doesn't, <laughs> just doesn't like, uh, you don't like these, this format of talk show, do you? you oh, she's totally it. fine, yeah. Okay, well, I, oh, yeah, as long as you're good. Uh, yeah. All right, well, we should probably move on, but what a sweetie pie. Yeah, she's Hello, adorable. Sweetie. Hello. Okay. All right, so our next animal is not quite as cute. You probably are not going to think. You got her? Um, this is an American alligator. Oh. Yeah, so fantastic. we'll just put him right here. Now, this is, is one this of... Is safe? I mean, are, are they, I, they're safe at this size, They're right? totally safe as long as you don't stick your finger in its mouth. Um, and then I can't vouch for what will happen, but... Um, Why'd you have to tell him? <laughs> now, you say it, I gotta do it. Listen, it, it, I take no responsibility if you do it. No, these guys, um, yeah, I mean, alligators are actually fairly mellow at this stage if they've been handled, and you know, these are animals that we use for teaching and education and things like that. that that's the next animal. What? <laughs> What's happening back? There's a dragon um, backstage. When, when, yeah, are when, you bringing a dragon out? Um, it, it's, it's actually kind of dinosaur-like, so I'll, I'll We'll get to that in a little bit, it, but, all right. Um, but yeah, you can touch this guy in the back. These guys live in, in the American South in Florida, and it's actually a pretty cool story because these guys were once almost completely wiped out. We almost killed all of them to extinction. And because of good endangered species laws, we protected them. And now they're so common that sometimes they show up in people's swimming pools. So, so it's uh, time to start murdering again. No, <laughs> no, no. <it's... laughs> That's not what I'm saying. He's like, Arr! no. <laughs> No, if you see one, of course, we want to, all oh, animals must be cared for, but uh, <laughs> I, this petting it doesn't feel good at all. This is yeah. just, I feel like I'm just rubbing a pair of boots or something. Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, people make boots out of them. It's not, oh, they do? Sure. That's terrible. I can't believe I know. How could you that. look at that face and make a boot out of this? Well, I wouldn't look at the face. Yeah. I'd just make the boot. Uh, <laughs> look, my look. I joke and I kid. It's what I do. I love animals. Mm, animals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, this guy is going to get to be about 14 feet long. Oh, really? It has a bite force that's about 2,000 pounds. It's the equivalent of getting a small pickup truck dropped on you. So you definitely do not want to mess bite with it. Bite force of 2,000 pounds. Yep. That means it's 2,000 pounds of pressure when exactly. it bites. Yep. Yeah, again, the size of a small pickup truck. If that fell on you, that's what it would be like if an adult alligator chomped on you. So you want to treat them with respect. And you know, in all seriousness, sometimes they do show up in people's yards and, and swimming pools. So you want to call proper wildlife officials. And right. They'll remove them and put them back out in the wild. Okay. Yeah.